Hello, everybody. Sorry about the terrible technical terribleness. I don't even I don't even know where to start other than terrible GPU, terrible game, day one releases, yada yada. I need something to bring me back to a happy place. So let's go back to a happy place. And our happy place is Dynasty Warriors and also Legend of Zelda. And it turns out there is a game that is actually the conflux of the two, which, oh my god, holy crap, tell me what geniuses made that exist. Oh, it turns out it's Team Ninja? Fuck yeah. Welcome to Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to slaughter thousands of uh, Stolfos while running through the land as Midna? Well, now you can. Well, I don't think I have the Midna DLC, but I do have a lot of the other DLC, and I do have a lot of the other stuff coming on. Yes, I know, I know, off-center camera-ish. Uh, nope, direction. There we go. I keep forgetting because I flipped the camera left and right, you know, I flipped the camera horizontally. Left is actually left in this version of the camera, and I don't have to right, uh, rely on camera tricks. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, I feel like one of the better ways to be, really, game is loud, game is loud, game is loud, game is loud because it was turned up most of the way last night for, um, or I guess Tuesday, or Friday, Saturday night, wow, last Saturday night for a punch out, because you guys said it was really low for some reason, but anyway, that should be better now, tell me if it's better, is it better? Anyway, hopefully it is, because we're going to play through some of the story mode. That sounds like fun. Uh, I don't have a lot of, a, like, the best weaponry in the game, but I have some of the better weaponry in the game. I have a lot of it. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, I want to go through the first level as Link with the Hylian Sword, and so <laughs> each character has the regular weapons that you can get, the Knight Sword that you can upgrade various ways through. And then I found the 8-bit wood, wooden sword, which is actually his joke weapon, and one of the better ones to take. So we're going to do that. Yeah. And the spinner is pretty great, Tech Mess. That's pretty, that is very, very true. Oh, thank you for the follow, my friend. Um, hopefully you'll uh, find us entertaining. But yeah, so Zelda is out there playing her harpy harp, and suddenly a wave of darkness washes over Hyrule very slowly, kind of like the nothing from, from uh, Never Ending Story. And then all of a sudden, oh wait, that was all a dream. Impa, the same nightmare keeps haunting me. An omen perhaps of dark times ahead of Hollow. God, this makes me just really want to play Breath of the Wild. I want Breath of the Wild so bad. Dark times? Well, yeah, that's kind of what I just said. If you're having nightmares like that, we need to locate him. Yes. The man who left your bedside last night. He's suddenly wearing no clothes, so he should be very easy to spot. Oh. Search out in the courtyard. Is there anyone he running around naked out in the courtyard? No. No, just a bunch of soldiers fighting. Zelda's like, oh, I see a waiter. No, but it's definitely a knob. <laughs> Our little blonde-haired friend. Hello. Not quite the hero of time yet, but... With one strike straight to the cranium, well, this match is over. I thought, I always thought Link would do the, the down stroke. I don't know why I'm doing this for Link's stroke, but you get what I'm saying. That, that downward stroke, whenever you're uh, hitting somebody on the head, I didn't think he would. Anyway, whatever, terrible joke. And yes, it is a pretty sweet game on the 3DS, but I feel like... Didn't they have to bump down the graphics, like, significantly? And the frame rate as well, in order to make this thing actually function on the 3DS? Because I know you do. If you're ever, like, not playing on the TV, and you're playing it on the little gamepad, it is seriously in 30 frames a second. It's worst! I know a lot of people aren't necessarily snobbish about, as snobbish about that as I am, but, uh, yeah. In this case, you can hugely tell the difference. When you're dealing with what was once like 500 enemies is now 50 and what was once pretty decently smooth is now jerky jerky and terrible and no i'm not going to show you my herky jerky don't even ask began laying siege to the kingdom of hyrule 
Ooh. Princess Zelda led a valiant defense against hopeless odds. Well, News she needs a little bit of help, though. Imminent defeat One of reached destiny. the cadets at the One with a very training. strong hat and scarf. Combo. As the elite troops fell in battle, Hyrule's trainees were left to wait helplessly inside the castle Interestingly walls. enough, I like the fact that Despite this iteration odds, of Link actually has some armor on. Like, he's got chainmail up underneath that tunic, fight. and he's got, you know, actual the shoulder armor, and the leather on his... Link. Gauntlets looks hard enough Compelled to actually to act, fucking block things. She rushed to the monster um, battlefield to assist Zelda and You know, Techmas, I'm not sure. I, did they put Toon Link or to, oh, wow, Toon Zelda in here? I don't remember. That, that curtain was blocking the TV. So now we get into the actual gameplay of Hyrule Warriors. And those who may be unfamiliar with how this game functions, it's uh pretty much a Dynasty Warriors clone. Now, not like Dynasty Warriors if you haven't played it since Dynasty Warriors 4, because they've added a few new mechanics since then, and a couple of new, like, ultra moves to give characters a chance to better represent the way that they once were. Uh, it's more like Dynasty Warriors 8, which I also have, <laughs> and have played a shit ton of. But um, they, they add in a lot of, like, armor break abilities, and a chance to do a little, like, an ultra charge where you do super amounts of damage and then you finish with like a super ultra musuo move and holy shit it destroys crap tons of people <laughs> and without any further bother let's just go ahead and jump right in because the best way to explain is the show i mean a picture is worth a thousand words am i right am i right of course i'm right battle music starts and it's really fucking serious you know the battle's about to go and here we go with a giant tune sword yeah, you know shit's about to get real when the sword is bigger than my lot. And it's made of 8 bits. And so uh, you go along. Yep! And uh, you have light attacks and heavy attacks. And you basically use different combinations of light and heavy attacks to slaughter literally everything in front of you. And when I say literally everything in front of you, I mean everything in front of you. Yep! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, I don't know whether those are actually on this edition. I have not played this game in so long. They might have introduced them as DLC characters, and I just don't know. Uh, curiously enough, along the way, you can pick up various items. And then those items can be powered up into super ridiculous forms. Like the giant ultra bombs that I just got there. Oh, I picked up my little fairy friend. And in this game, her name is Proxy. Hey! Hey! I'm nowhere near today. Hey! My name is Proxy. Hey! And you just basically destroy everything around you in a pretty decent radius when you have the powered up box. It's pretty goddamn redonkulous. But anyway, so we uh, we have a mini-map up there. The mini-map displays a set of objectives. Those objectives need to be accomplished. There are people that need to be protected. And we have some area to cover. But along the way, we kind of need to make sure that our allies don't end up losing horribly. And uh, let's see how... There's a run. There we go. I was like, there's a run button. I just don't remember what it is at the moment. Come on, bomb. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now we need to make it over to Princess Zelda as soon as humanly possible. Uh, but I think I've got enough time to stop and take this. I mean, after all, I think I can do nine tenths of the law. And as Robocop said, I am the law. So I want nine tenths of your goddamn stuff, Ganon. Come here. Although it's not, it's not Ganon. Yeah. Like, I think Ganon comes in a little bit later on, but the bad guy for here is not Ganon thus far. Uh, hmm. That should have opened some duels. Oh, never mind. I guess I have to go over to the West Field Keep. I forget that there's uh, kind of an order of operations with these early missions. Good night, Irene. Yep. I will say this. The one thing that makes this game a little bit quicker than other Dynasty Warriors games... This is our first little mini boss here. Is the ability to have that shot in the back? Oh, really? It's so dread? My bad. My bad. I'm getting my movies mixed up. Uh, is the ability to have that little dash. And if you, you can just dodge attacks that way, or you can use that to initiate the rush. And. Get 
fucked up, Hooker. Oh, you didn't know, did you? You didn't know that I've got my super sword. Oh, this 8-bit sword is about to make a 2-bit fool out of him. And... Go nuts, baby. Go fucking nuts. I see you have a burning sensation. He's got a dragon claw. Right, because he's part fire dragon. I forgot whether or not they showed him coming in in dragon form. They do. And we have a new friend. Turns out somebody was watching us the whole time. Freaking stalker chicks. They always want a piece of the light, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The sauce and, um... That was the most horrible thing I've ever fucking said. <laughs> I want to apologize for that, but I really don't feel like I should. I feel like that sets a bad standard. I start apologizing for terrible jokes. And it turns out we are the hero of time. So says the tattoo on the back of my hand. And then, then it shows me my eight-bit sword. And mission. Volga has retreated for now. We can go ahead and connect the loots that are around. Um, I think I accidentally used my ultimate ability. With no enemy running. Good thing that it let, there's an immediate fill up your, your ultimate abilities fountain right there. So, you know what? We are not at a loss. Oh, oh, they're streaming in from up top. Okay, now can I go see Princess Zelda? No, not yet. I gotta make sure that these modules don't take over the fort that I can use the Dragon Man. And gather some materials along the way. Those materials are used in between battles to level up your characters and give them extra build, uh, extra attacks and extra super abilities and different resistances and such. But uh, guess what? That doesn't apply to me because I've already got most of that shit. <laughs> so the reason why I'm kind of able to blow through this super fucking fast is because basically, as far as this game is concerned, we have superpowers. And I am totally okay with that. Now, I, like I said, I don't have the best weapons, but I've got enough that these early missions suddenly don't seem quite as much of an imposition. <laughs> Get it? Imposition. <laughs> and give me the goddamn chest. Yay! Shit ton of rope aids. I believe I will make use of them all. Nice day. Oh no! One of my Hylian captains is fleeing! We have to make sure that uh, we get over there before Zelda gets captured. Otherwise, very, very bad things will happen. And there's another X inside of this mysterious temple. No, come here. Give me the chest. Give me the chest. There we go. Oh no, it's a trap! Who knew? The good thing is, we actually would have gotten the bombs right there. So, uh, yeah. That's basically what you do. This is an intro to bombing things. And there's a crap ton of Moblins who have kind of taken over this area, but fuck them. We're gonna run straight on through the stage. Damn it. Okay. We need to go back to the, uh, little, uh, uh fort that's right in the middle of the map. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Die, little Moblin. I need to charge up my ultra. My Musubo. Whatever you want to call it in this game. That masked ass move to make Link kill a whole bunch of shit. I feel like that's appropriate. Is that appropriate? Yeah, sure, why not? Come here, Stalfos! This all this all free. That's right, Stalfos are the uh scariest person Big skeleton. But don't you worry. They make him an annoying ass appearance. Uh I see a whole bunch of moggles gathered around me. Whole bunch of moglins. Wee wee wee. Whole bunch of moglins going all the way home. Whole bunch of moglins. Yeah, they're just gonna fucking die. Like I don't need I don't need a last time and they're not gonna be around to hear it. Do I? Do I really? And good night. I see you, princess! And I have come to rescue you. Yeah you! The hero of time is always on time. Then we're gonna blow up this, which reveals more health. Oh my! I saw the little bar of the special there, so I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just go ahead and do the thing. Do the thing that kills a bunch of people. 
I think that's actually my favorite special attack there. The one that just pushes enemies out of my goddamn way. Okay, so now that we have rendezvous with Zelda and saved her ass, uh, I think our next objective is going to go ahead and go towards this port. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. And take these. And charge! You can see that there's a little meter there on the side that says Central Peak. And that is the number of units that I actually have to kill in order to summon the big boss of this So if I can kill half a bar's worth more people, there you go. I was like, keep fucking spawning. Don't just have me try and kill things and then not give me things to kill. That's dickish. There we go. The key boss will eventually appear. And then guess what, key boss? Good a fucking trick. Aw. Good night, Techmas. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out for a while, man. Uh, we'll be streaming again tomorrow night. So come on back. Okay, yeah, no problem. I can go ahead and lower it a little bit more. Gladly. How is that? Is that any better? Yeah, I imagine this game is a little bit loud. There's a lot of things dying at once. A lot of shrieks of terror and murder of my enemy. Uh, okay, so Zelda is going to charge back forth towards the fairy fountain down at the bottom. And I guess the thing to do would be to join her, really. Like, there's, she's not really going to get any trouble along the way, but there is that big-ass giant mass of red that's trying to take my fort down here. And I don't want that to happen. So guess what? Everyone fucking dies. <laughs> you thought there were people in here? Yeah, it turns out they are now former. You guys are gonna be late to your own damn funeral. And good night. We have 1,109 KOs. That is insanity. It makes me so happy. It took me so much effort and work to get to the point where I can kill that many people in the first level. Uh, and we can basically kind of just buy some time here because Zelda's marching at her own slow ass fucking pace all the way over to the fairy fountain. And running away. Oh, okay, fair enough. And let's go ahead and head down the little side route here, which has a whole bunch of Mother resistance. We can definitely lessen this a little bit. And these guys won't respond quite as quickly as the ones inside the fort. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You know, yeah, 2.8 is pretty high numbers up there. I think the highest that I've ever gotten one in one of these was just over 2,000. And I think at that point, pretty much you killed everything on the map. Unless you just sit there and farm an outpost or something. But who wants to do that? That's cool. Ooh, look! We can bomb our way into the fairy fountain. Hello, fairy fountain! Inside of which is more rupees! And spirit power! And magic power! And rupees! Yay! Damn, we got 8,000 rupees in one damn mission. And I guess it's time to use the magic circle. Let's press A inside of it and see what happens. <laughs> oh. oh. My. <laughs> Dare I say the great fairy has never looked better, huh? <laughs> my dear, I believe my wish has already been granted. <laughs> oh my god, the fairies are taking away my bombs. I need my bombs, fairies. Please give me my bomb. Okay, they're taking everybody else's bombs, too. Holy fuck. The fairies made a giant bomb. And the giant bomb killed everything. Wow. 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 That giant bomb killed fucking everything. I have bombs, too, you know. But they don't do that. And, uh, yeah, no, she no longer has Madonna boots. I think it's a perfectly nice way to put that, don't you? 
cool. So now, basically, yeah, now that there's uh, way more of us than there are of them, let's go ahead and make this slaughter official. If basically, Harwood, that's basically what happened. It was a giant F-bomb. Dropped all over those Moglins. <laughs> Zelda has left the battlefield. Her work here is done for the day. And this is the part where it gets interesting. Oh, God. The Dark Wizard is, it, Dark Wizard is unleashing King Dodongo. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. There are, in fact, bigger bosses than just people bosses. It's time to fight the Dodongo. <laughs> the fire-breathing King Dodongo. But don't worry. I'm sure he's going to be fine, right? I'm sure he's fine. He doesn't tear ass through anything and destroy anything in his path. No. Oh my god, he does. Like fucking Godzilla, he just storms into a place and starts destroying it. But the good news is, also like Godzilla, he has a weakness for swords. Uh, let me just go ahead and lock on to him. And... Nope. Miss him. There we go. Come here, Dodongo. You know what you want to do. That's not what you want to do. You know what you want to do. That's not what you want to do. There we go. When he starts sucking, we start blowing. Up them bombs. Yeah. And that gives us our first little armor break meter that we can see here. And if we can break it, then guess what? It unleashes a very big special attack on King Dodongo. That hurts like a motherfucker. But the good news is, just hitting him hurts like a motherfucker, too. So, I think all we have to do... Hey, Marcy! Welcome! Long time no see! I'm so glad you can make it! Oh, shit! And, of course, King Dodongo has caused his geek to have fallen. So, let's go ahead and take him out right here now. Boom! Shakalaka! Yes! Two more slivers of that pie, and guess what? This pursuit... Trivial. It does. To me, it looks like the trivial pursuit pie. But mission fucking successful. And we got a piece of silver material out of that. And uh, we'll be able to use that to upgrade our people, as I was talking about earlier, and make them even better and increase resistances and yada, 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 yada. But in the meantime, terrible news, Impa! The enemy wizard has seized our castle! Princess Zelda is possibly kidnapped. Again! They princess peached her! No! Non... Nandaka! Nandaka! It's okay. It's okay, Marcy. We're just glad to have you back. And my big giant cartoon sword says, Where's the princess? Kill him. Kill him quickly. Oh! Impa killed him quickly. Yeah. We can't locate Princess Zelda. I pray she's safe. Me too, Impa. I must ask your help in finding her. I trust you're willing. Don't worry. Take my non-response as a total committal. Oh, wait. I'm already... Wait. I'm already... Where in the... Tunic. Oh, well. Whatever. Doesn't matter. The Triforce is the harmonious union of... And now we finally get the backstory. For those who have never heard of, of Zelda... <laughs> Here's that story. It has been the object of countless battles between the forces of light. Uh, and 18 some odd games? How many fucking Legend of Zelda games have there been? Each time the Triforce fell into the clutches of evil, Hyrule was plunged into misery. Yes, by an, an evil age, giant pigman. Clad in green, would restore peace to the land. Sometimes cell shaded, sometimes chibi. Sometimes full During Omni. One of these dark times, the Omni God. What was the, the name of that mask? Of evil into four the fierce deity mask. Sealing each away to finally break the cycle of destruction. Yes. So they sealed away portions of Gan. Three across of the fragments the were scattered across time and space. The final fragment was, was sealed, sealed in a sacred, in the sacred temple, temple built upon built on the holy ground, ground imprisoned, imprisoned by, by the blade, blade of evil's of evil's bane. Bane. Ooh. I wonder what blade they could be talking about. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. I do love, I like, I do love that it's referred to first as the Blade of Evil's Bane. Like, 
setting up that mystery of a that mystery and allure is the thing around the Master Sword that made it so well sought after back in the day. You know, all you knew that it was that it was strong as shit, and it was the only thing that was capable of hitting the final boss. So if you didn't get it, you fucked. And, uh, you know, Harwood, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure that you're right about that. Uh, and you see that there are actual little secondary stories here. This is part of the DLC for the bad guys. And you can actually see what they're doing around this time, too. So part of me wants to kind of explore that uh, later on. We'll go through just the hero portions at this point. And then once we get all the way through the hero portions, we may go back through and play the... The, um enemy missions but then again this game can get to be long as shit once you actually get to you know some of the missions that take like an hour to actually beat the mission so I don't know I don't know if we're actually gonna go through the entire game but we'll find out in the meantime we have bigger knife and a four-star bigger knife that has a whole bunch of my attacks doing a lot more damage and bonus water damage because Impa does a lot of water damage. Impa is the character they want you to use in this stage, and so After we're gonna use Impa spell, because she's actually Link pretty damn badass, as it turns out. Uh, yeah, Link is great, especially with his 8-bit sword and shield. But um, some of the other characters castle. are really awesome too. Like there are some attack, uh, some attacks that are just settled. completely broken. And you're uh, Ganon. Oh God. Be glad I'm not able to play through the entire game as Ganon because I would totally do that. He literally just spout fucking lasers lost, across every inch of the battlefield the destroying war. anything in his she path and it's great a tunic the sign of the legendary hero a tunic which we already had but i guess because honor, i've beaten the game already to help and not Impa you know and her remaining shut soldiers up. locate zelda weeks passed impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron woods Interesting. The leader but I thought we were going into a lava cave. A so do we have to go through the lava caves Impa to get to Farron Woods? That this unknown woman was Zelda. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of ah, the there caves. it is. Okay. I thought that was the case. Dangers. I just couldn't remember. Like I said, it's been a while since I've actually played the story of this game. There's a, a secondary mode to this game that we can actually play later on if you want to. That's sort of an adventure mode. And it's super duper great. Like, actually, legitimately super duper great. As good as the main game, if not better. And it's where you unlock a lot of these higher tier weapons and some of the, 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 the other final characters. So here we go. Impa's gonna race through the battlefield and she's gonna use the giant Biggeron's knife basically to slice and dice across the battlefield. Look at this shit. Yeah, swords at my feet. Exposition. Exposition. And here we go. And swords at my feet. And we're skidding along. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's giant water swords that do giant areas of damage in front of us. I mean, Impa is ridiculous. And I love it. Oh, and she also has that ability, which causes a whole bunch of damage to enemies that are scattered in front. And lots of water swords! You thought I only had one sword. Nice, nice! Yeah! Oh, really? You can, like, switch between characters in the middle of the round? Yeah, no, you definitely can't do that here, which, to be fair, you can't do that in most Dynasty Warriors games, so it's not, like, a huge detriment, but it is cool that they added that in there. Let's go ahead and boom, 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 boom. open our way into this keep. And create a little fight, sounds like. Yeah. Destroying the wall. Yeah. And Link's gonna make our way, uh, make his way over to that captain up there to kind of lend him some support. Good, you go ahead, Link. Don't mind me, I'm just going to slaughter anything in front of me. Ooh, I forgot about that ability. It basically summons a giant tub of water. And then Impa slashes it and anything that's caught up in it. Like this key. Give me my water. Oh, 
awesome. There's just so much action going on at any given point. It's kind of hard to keep track of any one given thing. <laughs> Alright. So that's more Captain Edge dead. You gotta love that. And with this keep kept, I believe that we can go ahead and venture on southward. We'll let Link go to the Hylian Captain and kind of provide him support for the moment to make sure he doesn't get killed without, you know, my say-so. And... Boo -boo 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 -boo. No. Absolutely bubbles. Great. Great. <laughs> it's okay. There's a big foe here. And where there's a big foe, there's a big foe. And for a big foe, you need a big knife. <laughs> now we shall take the key for the big foe whom I just killed. And with this giant water ball, I need take. Already killed 450 people. Or 500 people. And have not really started the mission yet. Just, just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Also, I'm having kind of a hard time. No. I'm having kind of a hard time with uh, the inverted camera on this. Normally I do play inverted, but for some reason it's not working for me on here. Oh, wait, because it's not fucking inverted. That, that, well, as it turns out, that might, that might help a lot. Yes, yes, I know. I am one of those dirty inverted players. I would apologize, but you know what? It just means that you have a better view of the action, so deal with it. You can also command the characters to head to other places to multitask as you go. Really interesting. That is, you know, one of the downsides of Hyrule Warriors games, that you do have to do a lot of kind of micromanaging of the map and, and remembering where you have to get to and when and running and having to go ahead and start running towards an area before an event registers that it's through or else you're not going to make it there in time because you have to do fucking everything. So that's actually a really, really great addition. And I wholly, wholeheartedly approve that. Okay. So we can go ahead and rendezvous with the Hylian Captain ourselves now. And let's see what they're up to. Hey, baby. I see you're killing a whole bunch of people. Can I join? Slice and dice. 40 KOs with one attack. Don't mind me, boys. I'm just here doing your fucking jobs. With my giant bomb. I said with my giant bomb. With my giant bomb. <laughs> oh, that's too much fun. Love is stopping our progress. Huh? And Proxy is saying we need to break those stone spires. Turns out I have giant bombs. Will that help? I have a giant... Oh my god. So many fucking enemies. Just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. So... I'm guessing we should go ahead and start with the closest one that's threatening our main base. I feel like that's a good place to start, wouldn't you? And yes, Queen. Yes, I would. That's nice. Very nice. And now we can let the bomb chew do the hard part. Cool. So this bomb chew is going to have to make it to the stone fire. And we're going to have to make sure that it fucking gets there. So let's go ahead and start fighting our way through some of these cabins. Yes, to make sure, yeah, that these dark forces don't make it there in time. Sorry, boys. I'm going to have to slay you now. I'm going to have to slay you now. Slay you now. And in comes the special. Yep. Damn. There's our beloved little bomb chew. I say little. That bomb chew is a massive fucking bomb chew. So once it makes it to that fort... Yeah, it's gonna be all over but the dead. But the dead. Just but the dead. All dead. That's all that's gonna be left. Just dead. Well, re-dead. Not re-dead. Re-dead's an actual enemy in this game. Just dead. And... How do you like this big old slice of pie? And yes, Harwood, that's, you know, that's pretty much the way that I look at it, too. 
that whole stick on the back of the head metaphor. To me, it just makes sense. But I, I can totally understand and appreciate that some people just don't see it that way. I don't begrudge them anything, and I, you know, kind of tend to make fun of people. Because it's weird and annoying. Stop it. Everybody's trying to play games their own way. Stop it. Excellent! And so with that one special, we captured the West Square, which makes it far easier for this bomb chew to pass through. And it won't have to actually blow up this fucking wall. We captured the, the, the West Square. Bomb chew should keep going. Perfect. And now we should be able to use the bomb chew to blow up this spire. Come here, little bomb chew. Yes, you're so adorable. You've got a mission to do. Who's gonna blow up the wall? You are, you cute little thing, you. Blow it up. Damn. That'll work. It's as if it was made to do that or something. And with the bomb chew destroying the stone spire, it kind of looked more like it let the lava flow out of that little area that it actually did create a bridge. So, yeah, you know, six away half a dozen another, right? There's always more than one way to skin a cat. Don't, 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 don't actually skin a cat, people. That's just, that's a figure of speech. And now we've begun our advance on this next fortress. Oh my God. So many forces of the dead inside of this temple of flames. Why? It's okay. We are back to back. And sword to sword. And a third ally has entered the fray. Hello, my beautiful, I mean, handsome friend. Wow. And with a harp of iron, lays out a little bit of kick ass. The princess isn't dead. You'll reunite with her at some point during your journey, but not yet. You can call me Sheik. It's a name that comes from the Sheik tribe. They were servants of the Hyrulean royal family. Impa's like, literally, I know, dude. I am one of them. I am of one of them, and you are not of one of me, so what is going on here? We can talk more once we get out of this cave. For now, let me join you. I promise not to stab you in the back, though, because that would be way too, way too obvious for my character to do. I am Maskhead, after all, so don't worry. I will actually be good. Um, wait a minute. Wasn't that our main base? Why is our main base destroyed? I don't know that I like that. I kind of want to go back and reclaim it. There's like four giant bosses coming out of it too, so yeah, let's go and take care of them real quick. Cause I don't like this. They're heading for both of my, <clears throat> excuse me, all three of my taken keeps. So let's, let's stop this. Let's stop this silliness right in its fucking tracks, shall we? Come here, boys. I see you advancing towards my keep. I don't like it. Not one iota. And so guess who's gonna die today? You! Ha. So, I think that was both of Oh, never mind. There was only one of the giant monsters destroyed. Let's finish the job. Excellent. With both giant monsters destroyed, this top keep is safe. And let's continue on to the second one. Which is actually making damn good time heading over towards the middle keep. Oh, shit. Okay, I think it might actually be better to go ahead and take this southern one real quick. And then go around and grab the east. Because, um, as it turns out, trying to make our way uh, north from here is going to be a little bit more difficult than we would like. And time for the special. Yeah. yeah. You thought this was going to be where you won. But you'll always remember this is today when you thought you would have beaten me. And Impa. And Zelda. And all of them. You thought you beat all of them. Turns out you did. Good job. Yeah. Alright. So, with two keeps defended, let's go ahead and pick up as many materials as I care to pick up. And make our way up to the third, which maybe, just maybe, we can make it to before it gets taken down. I know it's probably. No, never mind. I was gonna say, it's probably pretty weak. Turns out, not weak at all. Turns out, we're just gonna sit here and bomb the ever loving shit out of this place. Yeah! This is what I like. That's what Impa likes to see. Yep. Lots of dead. 
lying before me. <laughs> okay, so all of those Hyrulean forces have been destroyed. Um, we no longer have any need to be here. And I want to go ahead and take down this little spawning crystal here. Lest it be causing trouble later on. Or we're having to come back here and save somebody else's ass later on. Hello, teeny tiny. Hello, baby girl. Sitting in my lap. You want me to pet you? Okay. I really enforce this. I've arrived at the Tunnel Square. But unfortunately, I am not there. So I kind of need to get over there real quick. Let's do it. Maybe. Can you, can you guys capture it for me? Because that would be awesome. Then I could go in from this side. I'm just saying. You could make my job easier. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of right about that, Harwood. Okay, so I guess I do have to go all the fuck the way around. Hooray. Awesome. Well... I mean, the good news is we can run pretty quickly, but still, like, oh my god, uh. And it's not like dashing is, is any faster than just plain old, plain old, plain old running. Ooh, loots. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Grabbing loots, moving forward. I love it when they leave behind little goodies for me. Don't you? Okay, so now we made it to Tunnel Square. Where a bomb chew lies. Really? This bomb chew couldn't have just gone off and saved me a whole shit ton of trouble? Uh, no, unfortunately, I cannot in fact follow this. That would be very, very handy. This is not one of those where you can. But I can summon a giant chest full of treasure. Gimme. Fucking gimme. Ooh. da 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 Something I've already got. We got a weapon. We'll have to wait to see what it is when we check later. Because of course, Dynasty Warriors can't just tell you right now. It has to build suspense by telling you later. Sure. That weapon looks pretty deadly. And we'll find out what it is in just a minute. In the meantime, Southgate didn't open. Maybe the Westgate? Open up Westgate. Ooh, never mind. It opens up the tunnel interior. So I imagine that that west gate there is going to open up at some point to try and threaten my troops once we make, make our way down this way far enough. Uh, because it's going to be like, oh yeah, I guess we're not going to be able to get back there in time. Ha ha ha, dickhole. Hmm. Defeating the spirit of the cave. They open the exit. And there's the crystal cave. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. Okay, so Link can defend the keys for now. We've got to defeat the spirit of the cave. Quick, fast, in a goddamn hurry. <laughs> wow. Well, um, fucking well? How does 19? How does 19 work for you? I think we just nearly rolled a crit there. Sweet. That mission is more than successful. And so now that we defeated the spirit of the caves, we can just go straight back up and uh, forward. Oh, well, I guess I could have just gone that way too. But it's okay, I kind of wanted to take this square as well. And then we'll meet up with the uh, Lizalfos that is trying to take our main key. Well, main key. That's central key right now. Hey, uh, ninja person. Because Proxy can't remember your goddamn name. Do your work. Ah, uh, another stone. It's a good thing there's bomb two in that one keep that we're heavily defending. Excellent. Excellent. This keep boss shall be no more. And we have earned yet another chest. And my cat is slowly peeling away my chair bit by bit. Hello, teeny tiny. You're showing yourself on the camera. You know that, right? Two big stones. So we need more than one bomb chew? Crap. Okay. Let's go and find the other bomb chew. Link can defend the Gorons while we search. Well. Me without any capability to call a horse of any kind. Because that would be, you know, handy. Wait. 
Oh, never mind. I was touching my friends down there, trying to see if I could actually control them. You can't. But it was a nice thought, wasn't it? I think it might actually be this one because, yeah, once you go down here, this is kind of a point of no return. So why would it be that if um, it doesn't it doesn't work? You know? Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! It worked for Dan. Sorry, Harwood. I guess you're just not special enough. Ah, oh, dicks. It did her ultra in the wrong fucking direction. Oh well, enough playing around here, fools. Let's go ahead and power up all the way. Use that super ultra ability and time for final magics. I don't think I've actually seen this. Oh wow. So that just kills everything around her, huh? And by everything, I mean everything. Holy shit. The good news is we actually get our magic filled up pretty often, so we should be using that more. I'm thinking that we might need to use that more. What do you guys think? Uh, escort the bomb choose towards the two spires. Excellent. The good news is there's literally no enemies in the way. Like, literally none. Um, except for a living ring of some kind. We shall see. It is the Twisted Wizard Wizro. Oh, and the cat's on the back of the chair. How sweet. Love that baby girl. Wait, so it's... It's LT, not IT? Like, it's... it's Lowercase L T, not uppercase I T. Is that is that, is that what I'm hearing? Okay, dark forces to stop the bomb shoot, which means you have to stop the dark forces. <sighs> Let's get over there then. As soon as I get finished. Please. What can I say? I'm already at like 2,300 damage. Uh, damage. Kills. And that bomb tube's not gonna die for a little bit. So, where's the keep off? There you are. There you were. Because now you're dead. Yay. And with that keep boss slain, we can head back towards the bomb tube. Excellent. Good night, everybody around me. Awesome. So, can the bomb tube keep moving now? Please? That would be great. I really want to get this bomb to where it's going. Oosh! I think that did the trick. I think that did the trick. Cool. So this bomb shoe is advancing. Let's go ahead and make sure that the other one is going to go as well. I feel like that might be a good, uh, good use of our time and talents. In slaying, motherfuckers! Cool. One bomb chew has made it. Cool. So now we just need to be, get this other one there. Aha, uh -huh, it was being held up a little bit, huh? Slash! Wow. That took off half of Wizro's goddamn health. Yeah, he thought he was the strongest thing up in this place. Turns out you are just second fucking fifth. To a already second fiddle character, so that should make you like fourth fiddle. You should really feel bad about your seat in the fiddle category. Yay! And with Wizro's defeat, the bomb chew continues down the battlefield. And there's basically nothing else in the way. At all. Period. So let's go on in here, take out this outpost captain. No one's gonna respond here today, suckers. And I think we just unlocked the way into the forest. Yay. Boom! Shakalakala. Oh, okay, I see what it does. Yes, that's exactly what it does. The lava column lets this little area of Larver drip out and over the side here and into the lava pool below. Neat. So let's go ahead and gather up all of this grass here. And be as a fan of the grass. And into the exit. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. 
Hurry up, Link. We made it to the exit. I had to escort your ass all the way here because we are clearly the best. After all, my sword is bigger. There's no compensation going on here at all. And exit the state. Exit the state. Ex exit the stage. <laughs> Fine. Fine. We'll wait here until the exposition is complete. And watch our allies just look at each other awkwardly. These two knights over here in the corner are like, I could get lost in your eyes forever, Dan. I know exactly what you mean, Steve. This thrusting position is exactly where I want to be. And Ipha is going to show off just a little bit. Into the ship. I love that it has the little Goron emblem on it. That's awesome because it's, you know, Biggeron's knife. That's, ah, oh, such a cool looking sword. Now then, having earned a buttload of rupees, and picking up a giant's knife, and a weapon for Link. <laughs> That's right. The Great Fountain Fairy is a weapon for Link. And the Fire Rod, which is awesome, BT dubs. Uh, you'll find out who that character is in a little bit, and more materials that we couldn't give a shit about. So... Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part where we're going to take an actual break because we have done an hour of real legit a legitimate gameplay. Yes, it's only been two levels of Hyrule Warriors. I told you these stages were long. But it's actually been an hour of playing games that work and function. Who the hell knew? So we'll be right back in just a couple minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you dare go anywhere. You're watching this on Twitch.tv. We'll be right back. <laughs> 